right, so I'm just on my way. Don't know how much battery life I have left in my camera here, but uh, ease what it is. I also want to get more gas for another reason. Uh, in the winter time, don't be near, like, don't let your needle get to where my needle is. Because that's when you start to have the starting problems. Like, if you have like a three quarter of a tank, half tank, three quarter of a tank, full tank, uh, you usually never get any ice up problems, right? But when your tank gets low, the water gets, um, you, you're, you're, the, the fuel lines suck in the ice more. You know, if there is water moisture in your tank, it's more likely to suck it in and freeze up your fuel lines. Now you can put a uh, fuel line preserver, but even that has its limitations too, right? When it's minus 40, uh, it doesn't matter. Right now it's not minus 40, it's like hovering around zero, you know, minus two, minus four, whatever it is. Uh, I'll take it, right? Oh yeah, look at these trees, eh? Winter Wonderland stuff. It looks nice. It looks nice until you have to shovel it there and stuff. But, um, well, the other thing I was worried about today is because of the rain we got, I figured it'd be all glare ice underneath, but the roads are clear enough that at least we don't have to worry about black ice as much. Because when you have loose snow on top of black ice, yeah. Yeah, that, you know. <laughs> so I'm not afraid to drive in the winter. I'm just, I'm just like, I, I just know what, we're, what you're up against, you know what I mean? But this, yeah, if the roads stay like this, no problem. But if it, you know, like, cause it rained the other night, right? So at least I know there's been enough people on this and there's enough salt and the sand on it that I'm not as worried about black ice, right? But get out there early in the morning. Like this morning must've been like, just like slip slide city uh, for uh, people leaving this morning, say like around, five o'clock six o'clock seven o'clock even up to maybe about nine with all the loose powdery snow on top of uh you know because it went cold it went from rain till cold right and then we almost had all the snow all gone to be, be honest with you and then we got about six seven, six inches of it overnight right so what's that sitting on top of it and uh yeah stuff like that stuff like that i guess i can woo. One nice thing about these little Hondas, the heaters do work, because they're so small, the heaters do work really, like there's not a lot of volume in here to heat up, so. Uh, my door was froze, that door I got into, it was sticky, but it wasn't frozen, but this door was froze solid, it took me about, I had to let the car run for about 10 minutes before I could even attempt to open it. Now somebody had said to put uh, brake line fuel or something on the rubber part so it wouldn't stick. I've heard of that, I've heard of vegetable oil. I don't know how well that works uh, and how quickly that deteriorates. Because uh, remember, that's a the, that rubber liner is a petroleum product, right? So that's a snow scoop. Uh, when you got a petroleum product on top of a petroleum product, it does tend to eat through. It just, and the question is how fast. Like, if it takes like five years, who cares? This thing I doubt will be running in five years. Um, but you never know, it's a Honda, right? So. But, um, Ryan Green. Yeah, we go this way, we get gas. We get gas. So this will be my first fill up in December. I have enough to fill it full, so that should get me halfway through. With the amount of mileage, like I got four, I got about a quarter tank left. I have 469 kilometers even on, on this trip on uh, 60 some odd bucks of gas. Uh, I can't complain about that at all in comparison to what my truck would get, right? My truck, none of my trucks have ever gotten, except for Freddy. Freddy got like 600 kilometers to the tank. Uh, you know, I don't know if that just because, you know, 4.6 liter versus 5.7 or what, but like the, that Ford F-150 was, for a full-size truck was actually unbelievably good on it. Look at it, it's so cold out, that horse there is blue in the back of that truck. The horse turned blue. That's how cold it is. It's actually, it's really nice out there, actually. But I'll get gas, then I don't have to worry about whether I can make it. I know I can make it there. 
It's just, it's always the, can I make it back? Right, can I make it back? There and back? Like, I mean, that's a high expectation to make it there and back. So what are these guys at? Squeak. 156. Almost, uh, was it 180? Yeah, so 24 cent difference here than what it is in my town. 11 kilometers. Wow.